for our x-axis we'll be using 10 millimeter linear rods and we use 10 millimeter because we want to avoid deflection because this axis will carry the weight of the extruder we use 12 millimeter rods on the y-axis because it'll carry the weight of the x-axis rods and the extruder and we don't want deflection on that axis either the 10 millimeter rods will fit into these mounts the ends of the rods will go into these holes this will ride on the y-axis or the y-axis linear rod with a bushing um, and this is the extruder carriage there will be a piece of aluminum that we cut out earlier on the top of this and the bearings will fit or rather the bushings will fit in here to allow the the carriage to move back and forth on the x-axis I'll have models of these items available for you online and there will be a link to that you see here this took several attempts um, one attempt I didn't have enough adhesion on my print bed so the print moved so I had to cancel that print for another print uh, my printer lost a step so it was printing off so I had to stop the print in fact with this print near the end as you can see this sticks out a little bit more and was stick was uh, set inwards a lot more on this side my printer did lose some steps but I was able to recover by pausing the print and then manually moving back into the approximate position to allow the print to finish I didn't want to stop I had come too far with the most important precision parts here and at the top I figured I would I would just you know make this work you can see here I did fill this with some JB weld prior and let that set I will likely sand these down to a much better finish and possibly um, paint these parts in most cases when you print this because of the overhang and if you can see the potential for drop down of filament and pardon me that does look pretty crappy as a print but we're going for function not fashion here like I said it did mess up some at the near the end of the print um, even with a perfect print you have a hard time making this actually fit without cleaning out the hole some there for the extruder if you can see down there in the middle there is a stop to prevent the bushing prevent the bushing from sliding all the way through it should sit just flush and the reason being that I designed this to match up with this size bushing this bushing is 10 millimeter inner diameter bore 16 millimeter outer bore so as a wall thickness of three millimeters you may go with a different size I recommend this size because this is a beefy printer and it needs beefy components um, what I'll do is I'll clean this up I'll, actually I'll clean all these up because right off the printer none of these holes because they are printed flat and the top of the holes are all overhangs um, none of these actually fit and this like like so this is an overhang and you have too much drop down even though it makes the bridge it doesn't make it perfect so I'll clean these up to make sure that the bushings can actually fit then I'll work on installing this onto the y-axis